Hello, welcome back. This is Kenshin1913, and we are on Let's Playing Dragon Quest V, and the Heavenly Bride for Android, iOS, and mobile device. Bonus episodes, and in this episode, we are going to head to Gotha. In the last episode, we learned about where Gotha is, and how Kenshin more than likely is a prince. A bona fide prince. And no, he didn't learn, he didn't get that ring from a Cracker Jack box. He had to get the ring from a water cave in a fiery place. The Schwartz is within him. And where are we now? We're in now now. When was then? Just now. Who? Alright, so, let's go through this place. I'm gonna try and go through it as quickly as possible. Sorry, I, uh, getting a little carried away with space balls. But, uh, yeah, apparently, uh, we are a bit of a country bumpkin. Because if you think about it, Gotha is literally in the middle of a forest past a bunch of mountains, and you really can't get to it. It's kind of like that out of, a w out of the way, uh, out of the way thing castle and all that but uh yeah so i apologize this video is going to be a little long and i'm just going to kind of try to go through here as quickly as possible and get through a bunch of stuff and now i did i this actually brings me back to and now that i'm thinking about it, this brings me back to my dragon and i'm not getting that pot i remember what happened last time with nara no thank you Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh, right, so, uh, this guy brings me back to my Dragon Quest 2 days, back when I recorded a video, and I'm like, oh, I got this much time. Uh oh. You hear that upstairs? Alright, I'll take a look. <laughs> While I get away. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen, Deborah. And yeah, I can't move. Yes, I'm awake. Oh, look at that. You sharpened my weapon, which honestly, I think she just increases your strength by five. I, don't, I honestly don't think she increases the weapon strength by five, although maybe she does. Anyways, uh... Yeah, so Dragon Quest 2, back in the day when I recorded Dragon Warrior 2, this was when I first started doing Let's Plays, uh, I didn't really have the best time management skills, I will admit. And honestly, I think that I've gotten a lot better over the years that I've done this, where I kind of know exactly where I am putting stuff. Luckily, in this day and era of YouTube, you can kind of make videos a lot longer than 10 minutes and 59 seconds. And so back in the day, I used to make videos and I'd have a stopwatch, which was aka my watch that I used to wear on my wrist. And I would try to... Ooh, ooh I'm almost missing this guy. That's pretty cool that we get the same... Wouldn't it be kind of interesting if Deborah got different items than Nara? But yeah, Mr. Briscoletti is leaving something nice. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not really a servant. I'm your husband. I think you're delusional, maybe? Anyways, we got a flowing dress, which is like the third best armor in the game. Third or fourth, maybe? It's pretty high up there. So yeah, we're going to give her a flowing dress. And yeah, this silk dress is, uh, I think only equipable by her. But yeah, so, um, back in the day I didn't have too much time management. It was hard when I was editing out battles and all that stuff to kind of figure out how long a video was. So, for one of the videos, actually, I ended up, uh, having two videos in one video. So I would start off with, hey, this is Kenshin 1913 playing Dragon War 2, da 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 da. And then, like, at the five minute mark, because I, there were so many battles that I had to edit out, and the five minute mark, I would have to, uh, I would literally have to, uh, yeah, I had to stop here and then, and then, uh, whatever. 
But anyways, at like the five minute mark, I would be like, well, on my watch, it'd be like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. But then I didn't take into account how much time I'd have to edit out a battle. And that was annoying. And then I had like five, only the video was like five minutes. I'm like, holy shit. So I put the other, the next video together and that ended up being like less than five minutes too. And I'm like, God damn. So I ended up putting them together. To make one amazing video or one mediocre video at the time. I do have to admit that I have gotten a lot better at doing Let's Plays. I mean, there's always room for improvement. Like, I hope to eventually get those uh, cards at the end of the video. Not for this series. Not at least not for this game, since I'm already almost all the way through with it. I'm not gonna bother putting them on. But for the next game that I play, Dragon Quest VI, I will be putting, like, the cards on the end. You know, I, I don't know how else to make Let's Play videos. And look, Deborah is collapsing. Oh, shit. Uh-oh, we better get her. So, yeah, every wife does collapse here. This is a story point. Luckily, these these fellows are helpful enough that they will uh, help us here. But yeah, I don't know. I, honestly, uh, maybe I'll have to make a video about it. But I, I've always wondered if, what other people, what other, what do people think would be a good idea to start doing in a in in uh, in um what's the word? What am I thinking? Of? For, like, doing Let's Plays, you know what I mean? Like, what's something different or new that people do that maybe I can adopt? I don't know, I'm, I'm willing to try stuff, but, uh... One thing I'm not gonna do, I'm not doing face cam. I'll never do that. I don't like showing my face. That's one thing. And the second thing is, is, like... You sh you're there for... You're there for the game mostly, and then my informative commentary, or enter sometimes entertaining. Yeah, have you ever collapsed before, Deborah? Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm not carrying you in a stretcher. That's for damn sure. What do I look like? You can only stay in the goddamn. If you really want, you don't want to do shit. Just stay in the goddamn carriage. You can do that. Yeah. It is a little bit of a fuss, but it's... At least you're all better and all that. But yeah, face cam I wouldn't do, honestly. There's no re... I, I don't see... Like, what are you gonna get out of me... Like, seeing me play a game and, like, looking down at the screen or... Like, looking and whatever. It's just something I don't plan on doing. Yeah. What? Not likely? So does that mean Deborah likes cats, or does Kenshin not like cats? Well, no, he must, because he's got Barongo. I'm not cooking for you, Deborah. no. I'm not, I mean, I'm, in real life, I'm a pretty good cook, but... Come on, now. Now, honestly, I think this woman here... Yeah, see, she says something different every single time. Hmm, depending on your wife that you have. That's interesting. Yeah, you're lucky I take such good care of you. You'd probably be a, like a... I don't know what the hell you'd be like. I'm pretty much like your workhorse here. But yeah, I don't know. If there's something else that people would be interested in. Like, I think I do a fairly good job. You know, I, I heard from some people. Some of the people my sister watches. She watches a bunch of people do video games and stuff. And she was talking about how, like, uh, you know, people don't do long-form Let's Plays anymore. And I guess that's probably the case. Alright, so here we're gonna buy a fire claw for Percy. But yeah, I, I don't know. 
these are my favorite types of games. Role-playing games. I do want to do more. I do want to branch out a little bit more. I mean, I've been trying really hard, but... I honestly don't know if I can handle two RPGs at the same time anymore. Uh... You know, I, I, eventually I'm gonna have to go down to one role-playing game at a time. Or, or like, here the problem is, is like, I gotta capture this footage from the... I gotta capture this footage from the tablet and then do my voiceover stuff or post-commentary. And then with the other stuff, I could just play it and then, like, edit it. Although, yeah... Oh, look, so, okay, Deborah's being kind of funny there, you know? She's like, hey, why don't you look in my eyes? And I'm like, hell no. I want to be mesmerized, too. And look, there's Gotha right there. Yep, and she made him a compass. And he's gonna get an earful. Now, honestly, this is the area that I was actually going to stop the video, but we're just going to continue on. Um, so, yeah, pretty much we're just going to keep going. I probably should cut this out, but whatever. Anyway, so, yeah, like, if there's any... I don't know. I, I honestly don't know how many people watch these videos anymore, like... Uh, but, uh... Like, if people have ideas of, like, how to make more interesting content and I'm, I'm, I'm all ears although I honestly I'm just gonna keep doing it the way I'm doing it until I do find something that that'll be a little more beneficial I think the uh, like I was mentioning earlier I think the end card thing isn't too bad to do because uh, it's honestly just something at the end of the video it's literally gonna be 10 seconds all the time and it's just gonna be like pretty much a uh, uh, links to other things such as other play playthrough or other let's plays and stuff of that nature so uh yeah yeah now yeah and Deborah does not like bridges I just noticed that she did not like that bridge but yeah so I guess long form LPs are dead I don't know I mean I do I do put a lot of effort into making these uh, uh, well not I do put in a yeah I put in a good amount I and uh, yeah I don't know Ooh, mini metal but yeah I do put in a good amount of effort into making these videos trying to edit out all kinds of shit so you know I don't know I don't know what else I could do, honestly. Maybe it's just the games and people don't give a shit about the games anymore. And they just want to see older or new stuff. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I'm just going to keep chugging along. Like these guys here in this cave. <laughs> Have no fear. Let's just do it. Let's just jump into the unknown. Oh yeah, Percy got his ass handed to him here. But yeah, Deborah, she's a pretty good character. She's pretty interesting. And yeah, the only reason why... I mean, I guess I gotta cut some of this stuff out, like, going down, but... I wanna get that dialogue, so you can see that dialogue. And apparently she doesn't want to say anything. I figured she would say something at every new level, but maybe not. Yeah, I don't know why they even bother giving me that. I'm not going to use it. It's not like there's a character, like, at least in the fourth game, there was a guy, Necrosaro or whatever. Oh, look, she's, she's having a good time fighting monsters. That's good to know. But, like, Necrosaro and the other game are... Sorrow or Pissarro or whatever. At least when he equipped... I am... Excuse me, at least when he equipped items. You might be what? Is it pregnant? Because I'm pretty sure you're pregnant. But, uh, yeah. So, he could equip cursed artifacts. 
And he, yes, I do have an idea of where we're going. Anyways, and uh, yeah, he could equip them and there would be no negative side effects, which is pretty cool. But nowadays, uh, there's all kinds of... Well, not in this game. You know, there's no secret character like that. Only Deborah, technically, I guess. And those two monsters, which I never ended up leveling up. I probably won't bother. See, sometimes when you get characters, like bonus characters like that, too late in the game, it's like, why would I even bother? Because it's like, you're already through a majority of the game. And then you get this secret character, at least with Sorrow in Dragon Quest IV, he was useful because you still have to do, you still have to fight the bonus boss and all that, but like with the two monsters that you get in this game, after you beat Istark, and then you get it, maybe they would help beating him in 15 turns, but then you have to level them all up again. Anyways, we... We spoke the truth to this guy, and we got ourselves a flowing dress, a mini medal, and a TNT ticket. And yeah, I am honest. Yeah, for some reason I feel like Deborah is being a little more, a little more kind as we're go heading down. She's kind of admitting things that she probably wouldn't admit before, finding me more useful as a fellow, as her husband. Rather than some sort of slave, maybe we're almost, almost equals. I highly doubt it, though. Alright, so yeah, you just gotta come up here. And then when you reach to the spot with the three holes, you gotta go down the middle hole. Yeah, over here. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good analogy right there. Yeah, we've probably been up and down your house like eight times, eight hundred times. I don't know, eight hundred thousand times. I, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, eight hundred thousand times. And we get a diamond. Yeah, I'll probably come back and get some of this stuff. So I think Gotha's, uh... No, Gotha... I was gonna say Gotha's... Symbol is not a lion. It's actually an eagle or something. Is that by luck or design? I think it's by design, I think. Is that a compliment? I don't know. Are you trying to say everyone I know is nice? How many other servants has she, has she had? Oh, and she doesn't get tired of looking at me. That's good. You know, I guess that's the worst thing in the relationship. That is a bad thing in a relationship when someone gets tired of looking at you. That's for damn sure. You know what, that could honestly be like the best compliment someone could give somebody. It's like, I don't get, maybe not looking at you, maybe it's more like I don't get tired being around you. You know what I mean? That could be, that could be it. I don't get tired of being around you, and then boom, that's a compliment. That's like, wow, I'm barely, gra you're, <laughs> another like backhanded compliment could be like, you're barely grating. You know, you, you, you. You annoy me the least out of everyone that I've known. Yeah, what is Zenithian doing in Gotha? Who knows? Alright, so now we gotta walk around a little bit. Talk with some people and hear what Deborah has to say. Yeah, it is pretty interesting. Hmm. That's pretty cool. I didn't think it was Pancrantz who started this, but that's pretty cool. So, I wonder if they have, like, the houses on the outskirts of the castle, right? 
And then they just was like, yeah, we're going to build the, the town inside the castle. Which honestly is a great idea. Although Sancho's house... And I like how she's saying he would be a good servant later. When he grows up. But all, yeah, all those... Sancho's house is... The only house that's kind of like... You know... What's the word? Um, vulnerable. You know, someone tried to attack. Now, I gotta admit, I've been playing some Dragon Quest VII recently, and, uh, yeah, I've been really having a lot of fun with it. I still, I kind of, when I had to do, um, when I was working on another project, which I hopefully will be able to announce pretty soon, um, what is it? Uh, I was I haven't been able to play it in a while. And uh, I got back to it. I finally finished the desert area. I'm looking forward to getting uh, Melvin or Mervin or whatever the frig his name is going to be in this game. So yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with that. I'm having a lot of fun with Dragon Quest Builders. That's one of those games I don't think I'm ever going to finish due to the fact that, like, there's just so much stuff I'd love to do in... If I... I think there are options that you can... Old folks are so annoying. Well, here's the thing about old people, right? Since they're so old, they're always looking back because they don't have a lot of time left. And they always look at back with, at, you know, their youth with rose-colored glasses, which, you know what? It's part of human nature. What are you going to do? Yeah, we should look for Sancho. But, uh, yeah, what, what was I saying? So, yeah, Dragon Quest Builders, it's one of those games where it's like, uh, I could play forever. I'll never be able to get off Caitlyn because I'm too busy just building it up. Like, I just got the ability to make bricks, or brick walls or whatever, so I'm just turning all my earth walls into brick. It's amazing. It's really awesome. I'm gonna stream that, I swear to God, I'm going to. I just need to get my setup, my streaming setup a little more, uh, uh, more private, so then I could just stream whenever the hell I want. Like, right now, the situation's not the best to be streaming. I mean, most of you, or some of you might know that I do do, I haven't done it in the past couple weeks just because I just didn't, I didn't feel like doing it, but I usually stream every Sunday night with my friends, and we play Elder Scrolls Online. Eventually, I'm going to stop playing that game, and I'm just going to play, uh, I'm, I want to do other games for streaming. So, yeah, it'll, it, it'll eventually happen. I apologize that I'm not really talking about the game, but pretty much, you know, Deborah's being a, a wascally wabbit. Sancho came back, but not ma not Pancrantz, and it was a very sad day. Wouldn't that be a cool game if they did like a hack of this game, and they're like, "What if, what if, what if your dad lived, right?" And then he ended up training Henry, right? It could be like an alternate dimension of of Dragon Quest V. Wouldn't that be pretty cool? That would be pretty cool. Where instead of him dying there, he takes Henry and Kenshin away, and then they train. Oh, that would be cool. That would be a really cool game. I don't know what would happen after that, though. I mean, I guess Pancrans could still die at some point. But maybe not make it as, cr as crazy. I don't know. I don't know. It would be cool. I wish someone would make a goddamn uh, Dragon Quest V like prequel game where you get to play as some Pancrans or Papas. And yes, this is Sancho, our friend. Who is this old sinful eater? 
Yes. Oh, oh, Deborah was saying that about him. Because he's fat, he was, she was saying he's a sinful eater. Oh, I get it. Alright. Let's go visit him. But yeah, so, uh... Yeah, I don't know. We're gonna meet the king. Our uncle. Yeah, it'd be cool to see, like... It'd be, it would be interesting to see a cool game. Like, you play as him... And he goes over to, you know... Lofty Peak, he meets Madalena, and then... They can have all kinds of cool stuff happen, you know? And then he has a kid, and then she disappears, and then she's going through. Because I'd love to see where did he find the Zenithian sword. Like, where was that? He searched all over the place, him and Sancho. Yes, I am still alive. Yeah, what was what was Pancrance's dad's name? We'll never know. She gets in a lot of words edgewise, man. Uh oh. Oh dear lord, she passed out again. Alright, what is wrong with her? Yes, she did collapse there. Uh, yeah, sure. I'm ready to be a father. When did I knock her up? I don't know. When did I do that? I guess on the honeymoon period, I guess? Yeah, we're gonna have a baby. How about that? I can't believe it. Yeah, now I'm back. I got a wife and a kid. How about that? I've been very busy since we've been gone, Sancho. I'm laying the pipe bright. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so you didn't want to go home. Oh, you're gonna stick around, that's nice. Oh, well, get over it. Alright, now I forgot that there is a... Mini metal out here, I forgot all about that. I am gonna collect enough so I get the, uh... So I can get the, uh, Miracle Sword. Alright, so let's, uh... Yeah, I can't believe it. Yeah, how are you... How are you pregnant? You don't look pregnant. You know, I knew someone, honestly, she was like six months pregnant, and she didn't know she was pregnant. She didn't look it either. And then all of a sudden, one day, she's like, oh, I'm pregnant, and then the next time I saw her, she had like this huge belly. I was like, god damn. What'd that shit happen overnight? Yeah, so he's pretty much gonna give us the crown. And pretty much we're gonna have to go and get the, uh... We're gonna have to go and get the, uh rite of passage thing or something royal emblem which I am going to do off screen yeah we're bound by tradition yeah I follow all that I gotta go and get an item get the royal insignia But yeah, okay. We're gonna take a nap and then we're gonna go. Let's hear what you guys say, Deborah. Yeah, well, you you know, if I become king, you can actually like literally have the bed. You can literally share the bed. I look like a total wimp. I'm just your wife. It doesn't mean I'm more, you're more. What the hell, Deborah? 
Jeez. Anyways, I'm going to stop the video in the, uh, in the next episode. I'm going to have the royal emblem. We're going to ascend to the throne and see if Deborah will have those kids. So I've been Kenton1913. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.